Okay, so I'm losing the battle with the dinos. Um, as you can see, it's taking over the sand altogether. Um, been using the Dr. Tim's uh, dino treatment. Uh, disclaimer to that, it does say that you're supposed to do a three-day blackout period, and I did not do that. So, you know, that might have changed things. I'm not sure. I'm kind of heavily debating right now. I have the Dino X um, in, but um, I'm hesitant to use it because I, I have seen some videos where people reported issues with some corals afterwards. It says it doesn't hurt any corals, uh, but I've had people say that it, it did for them, so I'm hesitant to use that. Uh, but I almost wonder if that's the only way that I might get rid of this stuff. So anyway, I do have the UV sterilizer. I guess I'm going to try that. I'm not overly hopeful because it's undersized for the tank. So I don't know if that's actually going to do anything at all, but we'll see. Okay, so here's what I have. Like I said, this one is uh, half the cost of the Pentair and other models. Um, but at the same time, it's underrated for this tank. Let's see if it actually says on the box. I think. For the size tanks, size and chart. Um, let's see. So this one's the 15 watt. Hold on, baby. Hold on. And it's for salt water up to 75 gallon. So being 100 gallon, you know, it might just be a waste of money and time, but we'll try it out. All right, so here's the UV sterilizer and what I rigged up um, to run this. Uh, from what I've read, you when you're trying to treat dinos you want to have the pump running directly in the display tank and not in the sump so basically what i've read it said you want the pump as close to the bottom as you can get it which i didn't make it all the way to the bottom but I made it somewhat low uh, then i just use some pvc pipe and hose um, of course this didn't work these hose clamps that I got from BRS they're say they're four half inch hose but I could just barely get it to tighten on with like one notch and when I tightened this one on it kept popping loose but thankfully it doesn't appear to be leaking or anything so I guess it'll be all right so you can see kind of the water flow um, that CJ pump, I think, was rated for like 300 and something gallons per hour, which is close to what was recommended for the UV sterilizer. So we're going to, I, I think the plan, you know, I, I'm not 100% on this because like I said, this is my first time experiencing this type of stuff. So I'm not sure the best course of action here. But what I'm kind of thinking, I may actually do like a, a two or three day blackout. And I'm not talking about wrapping the tank, but just not turning the lights on. Um, and then just running this UV sterilizer. See if I get anywhere with that. Uh, like I said, doing the Dr. Tim's, uh, the dinos seem to be covering more and more of the sand. It's almost covered all the sand. Yet this morning after night, it does seem like it's scaling back. Let me kind of show you. I mean, it's, it's still all over the place, but it doesn't look as prominent and it doesn't have the strands sticking all out of the sand. Like the actual snot part, it's just the discoloration kind of, just the brown in the sand. So I don't know if that's a sign that it might be, uh, that this might be working and getting rid of it. Uh, I'm just, I'm not really sure right now.
So I guess my options kind of are, um, and I might just do this. I might unplug the UV sterilizer for a couple hours, go ahead and continue dosing the waste away like Dr. Tim's recommends then uh, leave the lights off and then kick the UV sterilizer back on. From what I've read, the dinos um, in the dark kind of release to the water column and uh, that's when the UV sterilizer can pick them up and you know kind of keep it from spreading. Uh, I don't necessarily know that's a hundred percent true, it's just something I read in a forum. So We'll see. Um, and like I said, also as my, as what I'm considering my nuclear option, some people might say it's hundred percent, a hundred percent safe at all. I do have the Dino X. I just worry, you know, that it might be harsh for my corals, even though it says coral safe. I just have seen and read some horror stories. So try not to use that unless I have to. But I mean, if that's what it takes to get rid of it, then that's what I'll do. I'm just trying to do these other methods first uh, to see if I get anywhere. So I think right now my new plan is to leave the lights off at least a day. I might do three days lights off and then I'm going to turn the UV sterilizer off here for a couple hours, uh, add the waste away in and then continue running the UV sterilizer otherwise. Um, I'll try that for three days and, and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, like I said, always let me know, you know, any, any thoughts on this, you know, if you have a better way of doing it or just think that this is just going to be a fail and I just need to use the Dino X or, you know, just let me know thoughts because I'm always open-minded and, uh, and always like to, especially people with experience, you know, I, I always greatly appreciate people with experience kind of chiming in and letting me know, you know, what, what they found to work or hadn't worked and all that type of stuff. Um, cause I'm just, you know, I don't want to say pulling the strings. I, I've done a lot of reading on it, but I don't think anything that I'm doing is like exactly following the instructions by the book. Like I, I should have from the start, you know, doing the Dr. Tim's, it says to wrap the tank lights off three days and then do the treatment. And I didn't do that. I just kind of halfway did it uh, by adding the bacteria in. And uh, even with this UV sterilizer, I have an undersized UV sterilizer for this tank. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere with that. So I might end up uh, might end up doing the Dino X regardless, but just kind of trying a few things. I like this UV sterilizer just so you can hang it on a tank and uh, use it for a while and take it off. So I guess I kind of hope it works. It was less than 200 bucks uh, versus uh, I think the Pentair was like 400 or something like that. Uh, and it's larger as well, so. And with that one, I would have had to like sit it on the floor and fashion a couple of different PVC pipes and hose down to it. And I don't know, this just, it's not that I'm all about the easier option that just came in as this seemed like the better fit if it will work, you know? So I'm hoping that it's not too undersized or underrated you know, that it, that won't make a difference, but we'll, we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like the videos, uh, hit the like button. I think it helps, uh, helps get them shown to more people. And, uh, if you subscribe, I'm trying to build up the numbers and, uh, kind of grow the channel. Uh, it's like I always say, if I can grow the channel over a thousand then I'll you know put some money into it as far as uh, camera stuff and editing and all that so we'll just see where it goes all right thanks again